And hello again, this is Dennis Hudson at OrangeQuant.com. Today is Monday, January 3rd, 2010. We're kicking off the start of the first quarter. I'm not 2010, this is 2011. Okay, uh, we're kicking off the first quarter of uh, the year 2011. And let's see what it looks like. And first off, I want to say... Holy gummy bears, Batman, it looks like a run is coming. Don't you be fooled. This is one of the biggest cons they've ever run. You wait and see. First, I want to remind you to go to the, the next previous video done about 60 days ago. I think it was on November 4th or November 2nd. It's the next previous video. And I warned everybody, I said, when you see 127 right over here about where we are now I said take your money off the table this thing could run to 131 or thereabouts I mean and now I'm looking at it I can actually see 135 but I don't think so um, 131 and uh, I said take your money off the table at 127 because we don't know if it's really going to make it up that far anyway to uh, 1 to 131 so be safe alright so I let you know in that video that it could continue to run. Now in this one, what I'm really saying to you is, you know, it's time to pack your bags and look elsewhere. But let's look at the setup, the con for the rubes out here that these Wall Street clowns are going to suck in and what they have done to make the charts look good. Check it out. Up here we have RSI, and this is the SPY weekly chart, the S&P 500 index uh, weekly chart. And uh, But check this out right here. Uh, RSI up here is uh, up just above 70. Okay, that's uh, typically considered a very good sign by technical traders. And, you know, people would pile into it. However, a closer examination shows you that this is actually the top of the RSI for the past three years. So if you believe that it's going to, for, for some reason, miraculously run past that top, then you should you should mortgage what's left of your house and uh, throw it in here long on the spy. Look back at the RSI. I'm going to scroll back a little bit. Do you see any place where it has got much got at all above 70. I've taken it all the way back. That's three years worth right there. And look at that. Okay, the only time this uh, up here in this area here, this was about April or May of 2010. And that's just about where we are right now. Okay? So if you think it's going to just rush up to like 90 or something, then like I say, mortgage the, the house and the farm and take your chances. Okay, so that's con number one, because uh, a lot of people would expect it to run. Con number two comes down here. Uh, this is uh, the dark blue line, is your 50-week uh, uh, moving average. The red line is your 200-week moving average. And you can see that the 50 is about to cross up over the 200, supposedly, presumably, like right about there. And that's where we are right now. So, uh, a lot of people are stepping out here. There's a lot of enthusiasm out in the world, in the media, you know, um, happy days are here again and all that. Well, you might also want to take note of the fact that those candles, those weekly candles, are getting tinier and tinier as we speak. And uh, um, <laughs> you'll notice the pattern of when that's happening, what happens right after. If you go back over here, and look, um, let's say, at uh, this uh, this pattern of tiny candles there and what happened after that. And I could go back and show you more, but it's, you know, what's really the point. Um, so, I don't trust this uh, cross of the uh, 50 over the 200. That doesn't make sense to me. Now, here's another part of the con. I'm going to go down here to the uh, MACD. Uh, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator, MACD, and you can see that it's still up above, um, you know, uh, the signal line, and uh, that's a good sign, technically. However, let's go back 
and notice something about the MACD. Notice where it is, okay, and in, in reference to, as I scroll across, you can notice that in reference to this, that's about the high of the MACD. Okay, see it doesn't get above that, and that's a three year span that I just scrolled through. That's three years. And it's up at that top. So that all that means to me is it's not continuing up, it's going to turn back most likely. So three cons so far, you know that they're running on us. Um, here's, here's an interesting observation. Uh, down below I have the volume and uh, at the bottom of the uh, screen there there's the volume and that red line, there's a red line going along here what that is is a <coughs> pardon me, a quarterly average of, of the weekly volume. So in other words it's a 13 week uh, moving average, actually it's an exponential moving average uh, supposedly more accurate in technical terms and that's debatable but notice this volume. I, I want to go back uh, notice where it is right there. It actually is on a downtrend. See? It's from, well, like from right here. That volume has been steadily falling. And the <clears throat> ironic thing is that while, whenever it was falling, uh, price was going up. But the problem with that is that there reaches a point where you no longer have sufficient liquidity to pull that off. I mean you can manipulate the market as hard as you want but if there aren't buyers out there you can't keep pumping uh, the issue. To really see it you need to go someplace and bring up uh, like stock charts, stockcharts.com and bring up the SPY and insert a 13 period uh, moving average on the weekly chart. You'll see what I'm talking about. This is ridiculous and what's even more interesting is look at the current volumes the last few weeks how low they have gone you don't see that any place else well you do once back here um, at uh, December of 09 uh, right into the first of the year there it uh, it did dip kinda low but not like we're seeing now this is a steady downtrend see Let's go all the way back over here. You see how the difference here between these things? That's low volume, low liquidity, which means it can be easily moved up or down. And given everything that we've looked at, I'm betting it goes down. Uh, as I said, um, beware this 127. Uh, it can pop to one, oh, 131 or so, uh, but uh, that, I believe that's the ball game. Uh, I wish you the best of luck out here trading, but this looks to me like one huge con gain that uh, they are trying to put over on everybody and suck everybody in and then pull the chair out from under them. And I'm Dennis Hudson at OrangeQuant.com. We didn't really talk about much quant here. I do have quant information that I was looking at to support me in all this. But I didn't cover that in this video, uh, so if you're interested in quanting, boogie on over there to orangequant.com and get your copy of uh, 